Alright guys, uh, welcome back to Street Rider Motor Vlogs. Uh, today we're going to teach you uh, proper uh, body positioning when cornering. Uh, for sake of purposes, we're going to be doing it um, in a stationary position just to show you uh, your uh, body position and uh, how you should be when you are making a corner. So let's go ahead and show you that. So first of all, what you want to do, say, uh, since the bike's already leading to the left, let's uh, say we want to lean to the left making a left turn um, at an intersection or um, canyon riding. So what we would do is we would gotta clear this uh, stuff out of my visor. Be dirty. Um, Alright, sorry about that guys. Um, what we would do is we would put both feet on the pegs. Remember we're leaning left so the bottom of your foot needs to be angled out. Don't know if you can all see that or not and your uh, other, um, this hand needs to be bent and your um, head has to be on your left mirror like this. Now notice I cannot lean against the tank on a sport bike because my bike is small. So I'm really just doing this. So for the right it's the exact opposite way, just make sure you look where you want to go. So let's uh, um, go try that out on the road now, alright guys? So now we're approaching a turn. Uh, this is a left turn at an intersection. Unfortunately, I don't have a green light at the moment, so uh, we're gonna have to wait. I hate it when I'm not able to show you because the green light is not turning at the right speed. But nonetheless, we're gonna see what we can do with that. So guys, uh, um, hope you all been enjoying my videos so far. Uh, I've been trying to pump out as many good videos as possible over the last uh, um, little while. I've been a little bit busy. Uh, um, I uh, had a lot of work this week, so it hasn't been the easiest week. But nonetheless, I'm still on the bike and enjoying it. A couple more weeks on the bike before it gets cold. It's already starting to get cold this morning. It feels like it's only about 20 Fahrenheit. You need to cross the street. Ah, good luck with that. Look at that car, man. I like how these guys have to cross the street first. And then we just lean like this. making a lane change guys you're gonna be leaning just off the bike you got to keep in mind of the temperature of your um, asphalt when you do your lean probably doing it incorrect because I just don't want to play around with my uh, with my lean angle I guess you just got to be careful about how you're making your uh, advances when you're doing your shoulder check. Um, most of us guys, when we're in the canyons and whatnot, when we do our lean or make our lean, we are going to, uh, um, which I'm gonna call, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a head check, we're gonna do a mirror check. As you can see in my case, I have bar and mirrors on my motorcycle and we are going to lean. So let's try leaning into uh, this lane here, this left lane. So we do our shoulder, mirror check, shoulder check, and lean. Like that. Except I probably wasn't really showing you the shoulder movement where your head should be. Again, my motorcycle does not have a huge tank, as well as my wheelbase being small, I'm not able to make that lean overly ex exaggerated. However, I am able to still lean off the motorcycle, considering the fact we got IRC tires about this thin on the motorcycle. So 
leaning is not all that easy on a 125R. The stability, especially on a day like today with the temperature of the road surface, going to be only about 10 to 15 degrees. Um, right now it's starting at 10 because it's cold. It's not going to work well. So let's try again. Shoulder check, shoulder check, and lean. Just like that, guys. It's pretty easy. Uh, once you get to use, used to it, I know that for the beginners, when you are first leading off a motorcycle, number one question I get asked is, will I fall off? And you know the answer to that is only if you don't make yourself fall off, right? You have to, motorcycles have a gyroscopic force that keeps them upright. Without that gyroscopic force, bikes would be falling all over the place. You understand what I'm saying? So, whether or not you're upright, your bike's more upright or more leaned over, like such as an R6 or a CVR 600RR, all depends on how you, um, how much stability you have in your tires. Now, I'm not saying that just because you got a small bike means that you have less lean angle available to you. You have as much as the 600R beside you. You got a 125, but you got to use that lean angle.